my friends welcome to my Barbados vlog part two so I'm I'm in Barbados surprise I hope you've been enjoying all of my pre-filmed content so I'm staying on the south coast of Barbados down south but for the past few days like I don't know what day of the week it is I don't know what day of the vacation it is I'm here for 12 days I know I'm definitely past the halfway mark I don't know I don't know anything else. Uh, so I'm staying on the south coast. It's been very windy, which means the beach has been extremely wavy, like very, very wavy. And after a few days of like feeling like I was on inside a washing machine, I decided to go to a different beach, somewhere a bit more chill, somewhere a bit calmer. So I went up on the west coast and the west coast is like the luxury prestigious coast. They, they have a special name for it, but it's basically like the super luxury, super expensive villas. And there's this resort compound complex there called Sandy Lane. And Rihanna lives there or has a house there, one of many. And um, I walked up to it because in Barbados, there are no private beach beaches. If you can snorkel there, you can stay there. And I walked up to it, you could just see it. It's It looks insane, like it looks so impressive. It's so massive. There were some armed guards as well. And this Sandy Lane complex, compound, whatever. Um, I also saw, I saw some yachts out on the horizon and I, I know that like all the celebrities stay there, like Isla Fisher, Mark Wahlberg, Rihanna, you name them, if they've been to Barbados, that's where they go. So I walked up to there and had a little stroll. I also decided to get something called roti, which is not like a, well, I guess it's sort of traditionally uh, Bayesian, but it's more uh, from Trinidad and Tobago. But it's basically like, if you enjoy Indian food, you would enjoy roti. It's like um, chana masala, like chickpea curry, and they put it inside a roti, a wrap, and you can get it with meat. It's delicious. It looks like nothing. I'll admit, it looks like absolutely nothing, but it's, it's so good. It's so good. And I think... The rest of the vlog i'm just going to piece together some adventures some misadventures and just uh string that all along for you but you know what i feel like having right now i feel like having ice cream so let's go get some ice cream Okay, I am going on a walking tour. I may or may not be an hour early, so we may have to do a little bit of exploring. It's supposed to be like a historical walking tour of the city, but I may have to do a little bit of adventuring on my own because I can't just sit here for an hour. Pastry secured. It is so hot and it's 9.30 in the morning. I swear it feels like it's like 35 degrees Celsius. Wish me luck for the walking tour. <sighs> okay, I just got back from my walking tour. That was an adventure and a half. I don't know what happened, but the tour guide that I was supposed to have never showed up. So I organized a shuttle from my hotel to the square. And I was talking to the taxi driver on the way there. We we're chit chatting, whatever. And so I waited at the square where I was supposed to. And the time came and went. And the tour guide didn't show up. But then the uh, taxi driver that had uh, drove me there came back and was like, I made some calls. 
I, I don't think he's gonna come today. I think he has some sort of personal emergency. Hope he's fine. Um, but my taxi driver, Steven, walked me over across, across the bridge to the next square over and he set me up with another walking tour that was happening at the same time live. So I just sort of like snuck in and like added myself at the end and thankfully they were able to um, accommodate me in the walking tour, but it was like, it was, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I feel a bit like a shaggy dog. I smell like a wet dog. It was so hot and sweaty and now I am starving. It's like mid afternoon, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have lunch. No worries. Oh wow. Doesn't this look amazing? Like, even the sub looks so good. I know, right? Wow, look at the milkshake. I never had a milkshake. <laughs> I've never had a milkshake like this either. I think there's like literally pieces of Oreo on the milkshake. So on this day, I went on a catamaran turtle snorkeling adventure. It was wonderful. It was breezy. It was sunny and gorgeous. So I got myself an underwater GoPro thinking that I would capture the most beautiful and enchanting turtle encounters. As it turns out, being an underwater cinematographer is incredibly difficult. I did not succeed in capturing a single turtle on camera, unfortunately. I saw many with my own little eyes, but I could not capture a single dang turtle. I did see some stingrays and other aquatic life, but the turtles were elusive. I attempted to snorkel and capture some turtles on camera back at my hotel beach. This was also incredibly unsuccessful as it was incredibly wavy and I learned what the inside of a washing machine feels like, but please enjoy the content otherwise. I am freshly showered. I have scrubbed the sand and salt water from my hair and my pores. I am slathered in body butter that is coconut scented. That seemed the most appropriate. And I wanted to show you my view from my hotel room. So I might take myself out to dinner, early bird, an early dinner. It's actually not even 4 p.m. I'm not hungry for dinner yet, but I will be. And I'm gonna go on a little walk and then get the granny delight early dinner and be back in bed so soon.
I told you, granny delight. And it's, get into it, it's wonderful. I'm going to put in my mouth guard retainer thing, and I'm gonna watch TV in bed. This is the end of today's vlog. I apologize. This was not my most organized video, but I have to admit that I had a vacation on the brain more than a vlog this time around. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some sunshine and sand and waves from the comfort of your own home. I hope I gave you a nice reprieve from winter. Please enjoy the sound of crashing waves.